Slim Swims Pearl Color from Z-Man. Super duper, super duper, duper tough. And when I say super duper tough, guys, I literally mean it. Look at this. Stretch. You hear it smacking like a rubber band back on the hand. But uh, I got a 1 16th ounce jig head here, underspin from South Bend. I got it, a crazy steal from Kmart when it closed down. I got a lot more, but I'm just gonna rig it very simple. And if I want to, I can kind of put super glue on here and it'll stay on forever. It doesn't look like it's staying on pretty well uh, due to the shank, but what I'll do is I'll try to push this up a little bit more, wiggle it in. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna stay up too well, but what I'll do is I'm gonna super glue it on and it's gonna be on here forever. I'm probably gonna glue my fingers together here because I got some cheap super glue that's like super duper watery. And uh, I just need to make sure I get some out. All right, that's all I need. Push it together, let's stay. Just don't glue my fingers together, Jimbo. All right, that looks like it worked. You can do some on this side too. Okay. Good, I didn't glue my fingers together. Got my phone set up right there for live streaming, also photos and uh, this fun camera videoing for uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, if you guys wanna get one of these, you guys check out the link in the description below. But it's from Ram. <laughs> it's, it's really awesome, I, I love it. I think um, having that allowed me to take so much different photos on a kayak that I've never done before when I do solo fishing. And then I could talk to my phone. I have a Samsung, so I'd be like, yo, shoot. And you know, I have a little quick timer and then it shoots, snaps pretty well. Let's go find some fish now. So guys, I was here a while ago and there's gonna be a separate video of doing a uh, crappy fishing. But basically, I was using the K-Tech on this jig here. And I just gonna do a few casts here just to see if the uh, crappies would bite this lure as well because this lure is actually buoyant so it actually sinks a lot slower and uh, I don't know if, if it's just because it doesn't have a shrimp flavor or anything like that does your fish still bite and guess what they still do bite so uh, I'm gonna move on though because I know I want to catch more fish other than uh, the same small crappies over and over again I did lose a big one while I was on live stream but it's actually not a bad one maybe I gotta fish same spot but further out uh, but it's not too bad but I'm gonna fish this wall towards this way and I'm gonna go towards those rock wall into the deeper water and see what we have. So the pattern is gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna keep going past this rock wall area and I'm just keep swimming my swim bait. You see a drop off right here, so it's, it's kind of good. Well, algae, yeah, algae. That's some algae here. Oh, no, 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 no. What happened? That was definitely a smaller fish, but it's okay. We're trying to get the big fish, you know what I'm saying? There's definitely fish here, though. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got the crappy. Bigger slab. Bigger slab. Man. Oh, all right, here you go. Fish on, oh no, fish off. Good cord. Uh, well, I can always downsize guys and catch these small little crappies or bluegills, whatever is biting. But that's not what I'm here for, you know? I'm here for the big stuff. Okay, this is a lot better. This is a lot better. A lot better. It's not even reeling. Look, look at with the drag. See that? Okay, it's a good bass. No, no, it's not a bass. Is that a crappy? Oh my lord. This is a giant. Dude, it's a gi gigantor. It's a gigantor. It's a gigantor! Holy snaps! Look at this white crappy! Holy smokes! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Woo! I gotta do a front photo with this. Guys, look at this slab. Holy smokes. Look at that, man. 
I'm actually recording with my Samsung S10 right there. Holy smokes. This is the bomb. Trying to release this bad girl back in there. Holy smokes, that was awesome. Epic. Man, that was one nice white crappy. Oh my God, don't tell me this is another big one because when you're one spot, you have a good size, gotta be more. Oh, what the heck? It's a bass. That's not a want. We're here for crappies today. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, in you go, buddy. One thing about this floor, it sinks a lot slower because it's buoyant. So I'm hoping that because that's the case, it stays in the strike zone a lot longer, allowing me to catch more fish, basically. So we're coming up to a cove right there in a rock wall. I have a feeling that this is going to be a, a nice spot. Fish on. On the rock wall, baby. All right. All right. Got the bass. Got the bass. All right. Cool beans, cool beans. Yo, he got a, a chunky belly. In you go. Let's do kind of parallel right there. So what's around here? That's fish. Here we go. It's a pickerel. It's a pickerel and a half. Guys, it's huge. It's huge. It is huge. Oh man. Oh, he's huge. Dude, you guys see that? It's a good size, man. Oh no, it came off. <laughs> oh, dumb Jimbo trying to turn on his cell phone. Well, that's what I get, guys. Don't try to turn on your cell phone. Should have caught it first. You know, the adrenaline, it kind of dropped off right now. And I feel stupid, like super stupid. You guys ever get that feeling? If so, smash that thumbs up button because I feel stupid. Danger! Well, watch yourself! Danger! Holy smokes, guys. There's uh, some structure stuff here. Some fish. That's interesting. Whoa, there's a fish. Oh yeah, baby. In the deep end. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A bigger bass, not anything giant yet, but I'll take it. Smokes, guys. Holy smokes. <laughs> Dude, try to take the backslash next to your dam. That's dangerous. Holy smokes. I almost got owned. Would have been wrecked. Man, once I put that super glue on, that lure has been on there for a while. All right, guys. That gotta have something right there. <laughs> what did I say, guys? It had, it had something right there and it's there. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. Whoa, it's a bass, baby. It's a bass. Dude, 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 
Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And you good. Yeah. I can see a big fish being pulled out of here one of these seasons. Like that one right there. Bam. Nice. All day long, baby. Come on, Spotty. I'm, I'm calling her Spotty because she got like nice spots. Look at that pattern right there. And then look right here. Look at that. Springtime fishing for bass in these woods, man. Let's go. Oh, come on. All right, the wind is blowing really well here. I'm hoping that the, the wind is blowing to that point right here, this, this wall side right here. It's gonna generate some heat. Turn up everything here. Maybe there'll be some uh, nice big fish here. This fish. <laughs> Very good one. Bass. Let's go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. This wall here. I'm telling you. Oh, ah. Got him. Still 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 got him. Not a bass. No, oh, came off. Dude, this is this is a uh, this is epic. Give me another one. That's another one. Oh, they fell off. That's another one right there. Oh, come on. Guys, I can't make this up. It's like when it's good, it's good. You know? What the heck? Wait, something wrong? Something is wrong, okay. The fish spun my lure around. All right, I'm gonna fish this wall really well because I have a feeling it's more than one fish here. That's a fish. Look at that. All right, in you go. That's fish, bam. Small tank. I gotta say, man, this rod right here, ultralight, so much fun, so sensitive. I could pick up like all these bites so easily. You guys gotta try ultralight fishing, man. Fish. Fish. What? Another slab, dude. Slab, dude. <laughs> oh, yes. Man, it got him right in the jaw. Really good. There we go. Man, look at that. The belly, it's like. <laughs> nice, thick belly. I caught some mighty, mighty big pickerel in this cove before. If I come up to another picker out here, man, that'd be epic. Fish. Fish. Wow. Stabs are getting bigger. All right. In he goes. Smell 
good. Fish on. Fish on. Okay. Looks like a bass. It's right behind me, so it's hard to see. But I saw the flash. Oh! Oh yeah, it's definitely a bass. Oh shoot! He must have uh, was came out from a tree or something a couple days ago. You can see that uh, he got injuries right there. All right, well let me uh pop this hook off you, but get back in quickly because you know who knows if you're male, or female, likely a male. You know you would definitely want to back in so they go uh, do the spawn pre-spawn stuff. The goal is we're gonna hook him in the mouth. Right, Charles? Get close to the wall. I've, oh, that's a bad cast. But yeah, they are close to the wall. Fish on! Oh yeah! Dude! Wow! That is not a bass. You guys are gonna be amazed what this thing is. It's a freaking giant slab crappy. It's a freaking slab crappy on foam. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe this. This is my personal best. Personal best. Look at that. That is humongous. Humongous. Oh my lord. Guys, check this out. Freaking huge. Huge, huge, huge freaking white crappy. <laughs> it ate that. It ate my TRD craw with my little marabou hacks, man. Marabou, crappies love marabou, but man, this thing is huge. Look at my hand. I'm, I'm like right next to it. It's bigger than my hand. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right. Oh no, I yanked off some, some of the marabous. But guys, amazing. So, time to release this bad boy. Girl, maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Okay. Crappy time. Still around the same spot. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video using under spins and a small little swim base like this during the springtime is a great way to cover water, catch a lot of different types of species, but especially them crappies. And you saw how small that crappie a second ago, they, they still will hit it, man, because they have a big mouth. So make sure you guys get, load up on some small jig heads, 16th ounce, some grub tails, some swim baits. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Until next time, tight lines.